Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to everyone. Today I'll be teaching you the last subchapter in unit operation from from my part, which is a leaching process. Okay, what is a leaching process? Leaching process is whereby you do have a solid. Okay, you have a solute inside a solid. Okay, this is a solid. Okay. This is a solute. You will buy to have you will buy have two options. Whether you want the solute itself uh, to to use it in other application, or this solute is acting like uh, impurities to you. When you want the solute itself, it's called a leaching process. Whereby, when you don't want the solid itself, it's called a washing process. Okay, what are the other medium that you need for leaching process? You actually need another one, what we call a solvent. Normally, what is happening when you have a leaching process? This solvent will be coming in bulk. So, this sub-bulk solvent will actually go to the surface of the solid itself and then further penetrates inside the pore of the solid. Okay. In this part, a mass transfer happens whereby this bulk solvent actually dissolves all the solute and carries together the solute out from the solid. Okay. This is what we call a leaching process. What are the examples of leaching process? You either can have a sugar cane, uh, extraction of sugar from sugar cane, like you have uh, a sugar cane itself, you cut it off and then you make it in small pieces and then you introduce a water, you, you put it inside a series of tank and then you put a water inside, you mix it up, mix it up, mix it up and finally, the things that come out from the process will be a sugar solution itself at one layer and another layer will be the slurry of the sugar cane. Uh, the hampas of the sugar cane that you don't want that it coming at the other layer of the solution. That's what we call a leaching process. It can be uh, in other applications such as you want to extract uh, copper salts or a magnesium salts from the ore you are using acids to actually dissolve all this metal in iron form and then you leave it with the ore the empty ore itself with a salt uh, a metal salts uh, going in the other layer of the solution okay uh, another uh, maybe a simple example of the leaching process is also uh, extraction of caffeine from the tea leaves whereby you do have a tea leaf you put in water and then the caffeine itself will dissolve in the water and then it will come out as two things one the tea leaf the em the nearly empty tea leaves and the other one which is in the liquid form will be the uh, uh, liquid containing caffeine that you can further extract to use in another application Okay, that is a leaching process. Okay, um, what else? Uh, we have a different types of leaching process. We do have different equipment, I mean, different equipment of leaching, where you, whereby you do have a, a fixed bed uh, leaching. You do have a moving bed leaching and also an agitated process for leaching. Okay. Uh, things or assumption that you need to make for this leaching process because every single process you do have an uh, assumption that you need to make okay so what are the things that you need to make uh, what are the assumption that you need to make in order for you to proceed with the calculation of uh, leaching okay I'll tell you in the next video